Chapter 8, Motorman Valve Preventative Maintenance. Tools Needed. You're going to need a Phillips screwdriver, a three-quarter inch wrench, a flat-headed screwdriver, Molly Coat 111, a small bristled brush, and small clippers to remove the O-ring. Removing the cap. We will remove the two screws using the Phillips screwdriver. Once both screws are loosened, the spring will be released and you will hear a small snap. We will now remove the top cover, exposing the spring underneath. You will then remove the spring as well. Now we will be removing the handle. You are going to remove the handle by turning it counterclockwise. Next you will remove the inner stem. To remove the inner stem, you are going to use your index finger and push down. Here is what the inner stem looks like. Removing the caged o-ring. To remove the caged o-ring, you are going to use a flat-headed screwdriver. Watch as we get the flat-headed screwdriver underneath the caged O-ring. Once this is done, you are going to use your clippers to cut the old O-ring off. Use caution when using the clippers. Lubricating and replacing the caged o-ring. Use a rag or a cloth to clean all surfaces of the nozzle. Now we will use the bristled brush and the Molly Coat 111 to lubricate the nozzle. Be sure to use the appropriate amount of Molly Coat 111. You will want to get in all the grooves where the caged o ring will sit. We will now be installing the caged o-ring onto the valve body. 
Watch as we will be inserting the right ring over the right side of the body and putting it into the proper grooves of the nozzle. Then we will be placing the two center ribs into position where we will then pull the ring over the nose of the nozzle. Now we will be applying an additional lubricant on the outer portion of the seal. Assembling the valve. First we are going to install the valve stem into the body. Be sure the hole is facing forward. We will then slide the stem into the body. Replace the spring retainer with the hole facing forward. Match with the valve stem. Now you will insert the handle into position. Continue to turn clockwise until the handle is now tight. The valve should now turn easily. Next you will insert the spring on top of the spring retainer. Then you will place the cover on top of the spring. Be sure to spin the cover around until it falls into place. Tightening the valve. Rotate the handle to the center. Next you will use the Phillips screwdriver to screw in the screws. Place the screw into the clip and then into position on the valve body. Install the screw halfway into position as seen above. Repeat on the other side of the valve body. Use a 3 fourths ratchet wrench or basic wrench to tighten the valve body. Apply pressure to the top of the wrench and turn the wrench to the 3 o'clock position. You will then remain applying pressure to the top of the wrench to screw in either screw. Once the screw is tightened, you may remove the wrench. Complete tightening the other screw. Now you will have enough tension for the valve handle to open and close fully.
Now your unit is ready for usage.